Hey guys, it's your girl Shalana back today with another video. In today's video, we're going to discuss the states that are opening up their Section 8 applications. Now, for the past few weeks, I've been posting videos regarding Section 8 secrets and how you can get your name on the list as well as how to prepare for the application. So definitely check out those videos. But if you want to know if your state is on the list, you already know what to do. Stay tuned. Your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, Hi, hello, hey friends. My name is Shalay and here on this channel we discuss shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family. Super easy. Click the big old red subscribe button down below when you're in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing this content to you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And guys, I enjoy doing it. Now don't forget, I do have an ebook for sale. Go ahead and pick up that ebook for $14.97 if you ever wanted to get on YouTube and make this money. As well as if you're just starting out your business, you know, go ahead and get your get the vendors list ebook that I have that'll help you know with those graphics, those arts, you know, different things like that. Now, if you are unfamiliar with Section 8, let me go ahead and put you on game real quick, okay? The Section 8 program allows private landlords to rent apartments or homes to you at fair market value. Now, normally the qualified tenants can be low income or they have some rental subsidy that is administered by HUD. Section 8 also can be known as like the housing voucher. Um, people just call it, you know, like income-based apartments, but it is funded by the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development. So every month, cities and counties open their applications for a certain amount of days or maybe even just one day. Now, because the demand of affordable housing is like really expensive right now, you know what I mean? Like, it's, you know, like affordable housing, it just don't go right now. But on there, some people you can wait for several years on a waiting list, some maybe not, okay? So a lot of people now are applying more for Section 8 because of the times that we are living in. Let's just keep it 100. Larger areas usually have a larger waiting list, where smaller areas, they have a shorter list. But in no particular order, let's go ahead and begin which states are opening up. The first state that we're going to and city is Beaver County, Pennsylvania. Now, the Section 8 waiting list is opening on August 9th at 9 a.m. until August 13th at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. To apply during the open period, you must complete an application in person at the HACB Central Office located at 300 State Avenue in Beaver, Pennsylvania. Now, their office hours are from 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. The maximum income limits for each household are as follows. Now, the waiting list for this has a certain preferences as well, which means you must be a resident of the county of Beaver, and then selected applicants will be placed on the waiting list by date and the time that your application is received and weighed by the order of preferences. So I've talked about this in my other videos about how the preference situation works, okay? The next state that we're going to is Lavanya, Michigan, where applications are being accepted only for one day, and that's on August 9th, which is 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, you must complete your application online. I'll have all that information in the description box. Preferences have not been confirmed just yet, but selected applicants will be placed on the waiting list by a random lottery. So I'm giving you this video early, so hopefully, you can have or apply on tomorrow. Next, we are headed to North Little Rock, Arkansas. Now, Arkansas has several programs. These programs will all open up on August 12th, so you got a few days to prepare, and then they will end on August 16th. Now, to apply during the application period, you must apply online. For some of these programs, preferences have not been confirmed yet for selected applicants on the waiting list. They'll be placed on there by a random lottery. So we have North Little Rock, but we also have Hickory View, Oak View, and Maple Place. They are accepting applications for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, no, for bedroom apartments. Also, they're gonna open up the same time, August 12th at 9 a.m. to August 16th. And then in Arkansas, we have the Cedar Garden Homes and Pine Crossing and Hillside Point, which they are accepting applications. And once again, they have the same dates from August 12th at 9 a.m. to August 16th. And let's not forget in Hemlock Court. Now, I wanna be very specific with Hemlock Court because once you go on this waiting list for this one, 
It is only specifically for Hemlock Court. So if you don't want to stay in Hemlock Court, I don't know what that is, but if you don't want to stay there, you not you may not want to submit an application. And once again, it's August 12th at 9 a.m., but they're going to keep their application in, open until further notice. So in Arkansas, they have kind of a few different areas on there. Let me know, are these the good areas or no? Some of them are apartments, some of them are homes, and it's just different areas. Next, we are headed back to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, where the senior public housing waiting list is opening up for multiple apartments and properties as well. Now, the applications for this is going to be open from August 16th until further notice. So these units require for a head of household, a spouse, um, and you must be at least 62 years age of age or disabled. Now, there are three ways that you can apply for the application. You can print out the application and submit like a paper form. You can actually send an email so at occupancy at hacp.org or you can dial 412-456-5030 and request an application as well the waiting list has the following preferences remember this is for senior housing so you must be working disabled elderly or a veteran as well to get on this waiting list now the following properties will be available as well So keep in mind for this one, it is for seniors. It does not apply for anyone that is younger than 62 years of age. So I definitely wanted to include this one. And I know a lot of people have been asking me like, girl, Shalay, when is my city opening up their um, Section 8? And guys, honestly, I don't know. A lot of times I'm going out and I'm searching for the states that are opening them. And so I just come and when I get a few, I put them all together. But as you can see, some of the applications close so early, it's really hard for me to put them out because some of them only open for one day. So I wanted to put this video out to you on a Sunday because I felt like if I brought it to you on Monday, some of the applications are only open for one day. You wouldn't have time to prepare. Let me know if you like videos like this. If you go check out my other videos, you can see where people have left comments down below where some people have waited, um, you know, 24 hours. They were in the right place at the right time where some people waited 20 years to get it. Like I said, I mean, I'm always, you know, have your eggs in multiple baskets. So, hey, apply for the application. You might forget that you even put your name on the list and five, six years from now, they might be calling you and telling you that you received it, okay? So, I mean, just submit, but I promise you, I will continue to make videos like this. And if I haven't got to your state, I will come to you. It just may be that your state hasn't opened. And in some cases, some states have a like an extensive waiting list that they're just not opening so that's all i have make sure you go ahead and pick up my ebook let me know if you like videos like this do you have something that you know about how to get your name on the list a little bit you know quicker tell or share your secrets down below and yeah that's all i got let me know do y'all like me posting on sunday like you know your girl didn't came to y'all all weekend long right giving you these videos you know i'm trying to stay in the game i know monday wednesday and friday it works best for me right now but i'm gonna be honest with you guys like you know because i am working and i got a lot going on but sometimes there is information that goes on on the weekend and i'm like oh i gotta give it to y'all i gotta give it to you i gotta give it to you so when that happens that's why you get videos like this and that's all i got so work with your girl okay work with your girl and i will talk to you guys later bye guys